Traders, this is Dennis Watson from Bent Ray Communications. Uh, our solution to, uh, to how to support a crisis is communications. Uh, communications is always uh, tough, and especially in a crisis uh, environment. Uh, take the recent uh, storm down in Puerto Rico when all the comms are knocked out. It takes a long time for the responders to, to get out there and help people if they can't talk to them. Uh, currently, a lot of the uh, the high data rate uh, communications that go back and forth that we depend on these days goes by satellite. Okay, so satellites. Where do satellites live? Satellites live a long ways away, about three times the diameter of the Earth is where a satellite lives. And the, some of the modern satellites in the KAKU band don't see through clouds, don't see through rain very good. So, so what's going to happen? And oh, by the way. After the hurricane or, or the storm comes through and the cell towers and the, and the, uh, and the set, uh, uh, satellite towers are knocked down, what are you going to do? Our solution is going back to HF, but different. Okay. Uh, HF, uh, HF bounces off the ionosphere. The, the ionosphere is filled with ions that are caused by the sun separating electrons from the atom. Those free electrons are there and will will bend a electromagnetic signal back down to Earth at the right frequency. So you got to be in the right frequencies, and it moves around, so it doesn't stay the same all the time. So that's the challenge of it. Currently, the way HF is used is everybody is getting given very narrow bandwidth, but very wide beam width. You put up an antenna and you, you transmit in 360 degrees. So you don't have to know where the location of who you're talking to is, but your energy is spread out all over the place. And because your energy is spread out all over the place, nobody else can use that frequency. So our solution is a electronically antenna array that can steer a beam to where it needs to be. And so instead of being 360 degrees, we narrow the, be the beam down. Okay, let's talk about focused arrays. These are electronically steered arrays. In other words, the antenna doesn't physically move, but the electronics of it can, can move where the beam points. Okay, so here at your ground, your fixed ground station, you've got an array of antennas that are all linked together. Uh, out here in the field somewhere, you've got your target and that's who you're trying to talk to. So, so to talk to that, I would, uh, I would transmit like this. I would fire this antenna first and then this one. And so there's a time delay between when these antennas fire that signal that I'm trying to send. Okay, and you can see here that the, the effect of this is, is it's making a bigger beam that's moving out in that direction. So I can, so I can get my signal to that target. Uh, by the same way, coming back, that single mobile antenna, when he transmits, his beam comes back and, and hits the array. Well, well, this antenna would see it first, and then a short time delay later, this guy would get it. And then another delta T here, delta T there, so on so forth and that way this antenna can tell where that target is and continue to point point in that direction as the target moves uh, I can the, the antenna array can adjust to keep the uh, electromagnetic field on target this diagram shows how the system would be laid out a land-based antenna far away from the crisis area can connect through focused, steerable beams, people that are in need of support with people that can provide support. And the secret to passing information uh, based on the Shannon Hartley equation is signal to noise ratio, which is the power at the receiver and the band. So, so our solution uh, does that. Uh, one of the things uh, that we're, our solution will use is orthogonal frequency division multiple access. Okay, so so it's frequency division multiplexing, but it crushes it it compresses the frequencies together. So 
so that uh, you can push more ones and zeros through a narrower band of bandwidth. Hello innovators, let's talk a little bit about radios. Uh, this radio here is a software defined radio. And what that means is, is it uses, it digitizes the incoming signal and it uses software to demodulate it. So it can demodulate a lot of different types of waveforms. So right now, there's, there's, uh, this is a uh, HF lower sideband signal. It's an analog signal and it's decoding that signal and you can hear it coming out of the speakers. But you can just as easily uh, use this to uh, demodulate AM or FM or RIDI, which is, a, uh, which is a data format. So there's many different ways that you could very easily use a software-defined radio uh, to demodulate many, many different types of signals. So in a survival or in a uh, crisis situation, you can set your receiver to, to decode the signal that the person that needs support is transmitting on. If they're sending a digital signal, you can demodulate that. If they're sending an analog signal, you can demodulate that. So at any rate, uh, uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, we, we look forward to this competition. We think that uh, as you look at all the different uh, solutions that are provided, uh, think about how are they going to be able to, to get their information back and forth and, and, the, and the core enabling capability to any solution is usually having a, a good reliable communications path. There's never enough and uh, if you would look at our uh, solution uh, maybe that would uh, help allevi alleviate that uh, requirement. Thank you. Thank you.